Hello, I'm Ben with Start Finish TV, and today we're going to be talking about the gear I'm going to be using for my shoots in 2024. So I have the Panasonic Lumix S52X. I have two of those. On one of them, I have the 28 to 70 millimeter Sigma 2.8 lens, and on the other, I have the Sigma 85 mil 1.4 lens. The cameras are in a small rig cage. I wish I'd kind of, I kind of wish I'd gone for the one that has the HDMI and USB-C like clips in it, but I didn't because I didn't need the handle and I weren't paying an extra like 50 quid just to get this little tiny piece. On top of that, I have a small rig SSD holder and in that I have a Samsung T7 Shield 2 terabyte SSD. Part of me wants to buy for V90 cards, but part of me doesn't want to spend like a grand on SD cards just for ease of use. The only upside to using the V90 cards is that I could have one as a backup, which is probably what I would do if I was shooting a wedding, for example. Um, but I can also buy these T7 Shields pretty or just any USB-C SSD and then not have a problem. I have one top handle. I don't really need it on both. I don't really use it to be fair. And then on the other side, I, when I'm shooting a video like this, I will have the Rode wireless go receiver. And that is pretty much it for the camera itself. I still have the same Niwa tripod. It serves its purpose as a tripod. I also have a GoPro Hero 12, which I'm going to use for behind the scenes. Nobody seems to be at that bothered though, but the videos are posted. For lighting, I am still using the Godox UL150. I'm using an older, I want to say newer softbox with a grid from a different softbox on it. So it's a little bit longer, but it's fine. I bought a light stand, but I still have a two C stands, which I use the light stand if I'm going out being portable and I use the C stand if I can be bothered when I'm shooting a video in my office. I also bought two newer tube RGB lights, uh, which you can see in the background of this shot. So yeah, that is pretty much it for the kit that I'll be using. Uh, and I, I also have the Rode Wireless Go kit. And then just a Sennheiser lavalier microphone. I don't particularly like it, but it does the job for what I need it to do. So yeah, that is my gear for 2024. It's a li little bit more compact, easy to travel with, take on shoots. Whereas before I was using the C200 and that was just massive. I still have my cases and the sliders and weird thing like that, weird things like that that I don't use. I managed to sell my gimbals. I did try the Ronin 3. And it didn't work with the C200, so I sent it back. But now I've got these Lumix. Potentially maybe upgrade, or maybe upgrade. I could actually buy one, but I also don't fancy spending a thousand pound on a piece of metal to get some smooth stuff when it has in-body image stabilization. I do want to get some more L-mount lenses because just having the two lenses seems a little bit limited. I do need to get a zoom that's a little bit lower than 2.8, but then again, most L mount lenses are f4, so swings around us, and they're also really expensive. I've been Ben with Start to Finish TV. If you did enjoy this content, be sure to leave me know by leaving a like on the video. If you have any suggestions of what you want to see, leave them down in the comments, and I will see you in the next video.